are headed to the job site. So, this is the first time in a while we've had a couple jobs going, and as minor and small as the second job is, it's just giving me a quick reminder. This is the test if our systems work and if everything that we're doing to try to stay organized in the middle of a job build is working out. When I say this, I'm referring to what I was just doing with Tony, which is going through the things, faucets, electrical fixtures, toilets, and all those different things and labeling them, making sure that they're going to the correct rooms and that the people that are installing them know exactly what they're installing because it makes a big difference if you go to drill holes in a vanity top it's just been installed by a granite guy if he goes and does a triple hole where there's supposed to be a single hole that's obviously a problem this is the part of the job where we're seeing if what we've done so far is panning out or if we have to think of a new system for next time but so far so good come on by my lonesome for a little bit all right, while them boys are getting stuff done down at the shop, I have been walking around the kitchen checking out what the countertop guys got done on Friday. Check this out. Man, just a beautiful granite. It goes really, really well with the dark cabinets. Man, so... This is where the cooktop's gonna go. So that still needs to be pulled and they're gonna cut that out. They were just getting this all mocked up and getting this backsplash uh, cut to the right height. But you can see the effect of having no backsplash along the back wall here. How it's almost as the countertops just kind of fall off the edge there and you get Kind of an un, uh, uninterrupted view of out there because obviously that's what it's all about is that view right there. So, anyways, I'm gonna stay busy until they get here because then we've still got some painting to do and got some forming to do because we've got concrete coming on Wednesday. So I'm gonna get busy. You know, you try to be gentle, try to be careful when you're hand digging around pipes. Every now and then, you just make a little whoopsie. I don't know if this was, maybe it would have been somebody else. I'll just take the blame for it, but uh, I'm a little hole right there. So Joey's grabbing a uh, coupler, so we'll get that fixed. But oh, I was trying to avoid that. Oh well, we'll get it fixed. We hate store trips. But you know what? Sometimes they're just unavoidable. So into Pearson's we go. Okay, so I just want to show you guys something really cool that I think is really cool. So we've showed in some previous videos how these decks are, we frame these flat. So to deal with the drainage, we actually have these valleys in here that the linear drains are in. So let me show you how all the plumbing is ran because I love seeing really nice tidy work no matter who's doing it. And even though I don't like doing plumbing, I love seeing good, like nicely done plumbing. So every one of these drains is all tied in to this three inch and then actually from here on is four inch because the plumber wanted to make sure that we never overloaded that drain line and had it back up at all. Because obviously we don't want water working its way back into the house, but I just wanted to show you that because that plumbing was very well done, very well thought out and just a cool system that we don't see very often because we don't deal with that sort of thing a whole lot. So, anyways, that got me excited. I just figured it might excite somebody else to see that sort of thing. Look who's here. Joey. Hi, everybody. He showed up. 
So now that Joey's here, he's actually gonna take over where I left off with forming out there. And then Tony and I are gonna get suited up. Kind of. Kind of? The landscape architect is on his way here in one minute ago, according to our date. <laughs> and we're gonna walk around for minimal time to discuss landscape. Oh, okay. It'll be super quick. Well, that, yeah, so super quick. Yeah, tons, <laughs> tons will get done. Uh, well, yeah, so anyways, uh, Tony and I are gonna get suited up and start painting. Yes. And I'm not gonna time lapse any of that because <laughs> the phone's just gonna get covered in paint. So you'll be able to see the final product. All right, first coat is done. Me and Tony got this knocked out. Actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. I thought we'd be trying to beat the clock, trying to get out of here like last time, but it went on pretty good. Well, we didn't, we didn't have to paint the walls in here because these are gonna be a different color. So we only had to do the ceiling. So that saved us a decent amount of time. We're living free, boys. Get out of here, seagull. Come on, beat him up, bald eagle. We got another bald eagle? Double bald eagles? Holy cow. Oh, man, we need a fighter jet to fly over right now. Remember the C-130 that was I know, where's our C-130 or Blackhawks or Apache or something? <sighs> uh, US military, I know you're watching. Send some fighter jets over here whenever we see bald eagles come over. Good Tuesday morning. Here I am over on the south side of the house again just gonna pick up where I left off with forming and Joey's gonna be here in a little bit and uh, so we can get this 100% ready for concrete that's coming tomorrow <laughs> To showcase just a little piece of the thoughtfulness behind the design of this house and this is one of my favorite things so as you can see all the lights are right in a row right on the scene here but not only that so we've got a light and these are actually speakers light speaker light speaker no excuse me light light how many more speakers we got another speaker over there anyways the point is, not only are they right in a row, those are four inch speakers to match the four inch cans. Just a really cool detail that is just very visually appealing that I just love. And you can see there's lights and speakers all throughout the house. So unless you know what you're looking for, you got speaker, speaker, light, light. It's just a really cool, detail that a lot of people will overlook and not realize they have speakers all throughout the house because they match the lights it's just not perfect all right as you can tell it's uh super windy out but anyway so I don't know how good the audio is gonna turn out regardless um, so we got this all formed up that's ready to go concrete's coming tomorrow at 11 so I know I said that a few times today but we're excited about it we got this we've got the front planters that we're gonna pour and then on the north side of the house we've got that retaining wall that has been formed up for a little bit now but yeah so this thing is all braced up oh, or, uh, rebar is in it ready to go it's getting pretty close to the end of the day, so uh, just kind of keep cleaning up. I've got this place cleaned up pretty good, but yep, yeah, just gonna clean up and head home. Maybe take care of a couple little things here and there. So we'll be back tomorrow for home. Good Wednesday morning. I haven't even made it to the job site. I'm still in my house, but look at that sunrise. I have a feeling it's gonna be a good day. We got concrete coming. Gonna do a little bit of painting, but man, it's gonna be all fired up. Plus tomorrow's 4th of July, so I'm 
I'm excited to celebrate some freedom. But let's get to work for now. second coat of paint on the downstairs and it should only take us an hour and a half two hours or so yeah, seems okay. to be the, the going time for that so should have plenty of time to get that done and then uh, there's just a couple little things to button up to get us 100% ready for concrete just oiling the forms and stuff like that but then then we've got concrete coming and actually I just checked the weather and it looks like it's gonna be really windy so I think his concrete's gonna go off pretty quick. But we'll uh, just have to deal with the wind and the dust and the uh, everything else. But we're getting to painting right now. All right, painting is done. It's 9.30, so I just gotta get, uh, actually on this retaining wall here, we're actually gonna put in a stair set. So I need to block that off. Basically between these two two by fours, we're gonna block it off. We'll have a little notch out of this wall for the slab to come through and whatever. So I'm gonna do that and then we should be right on track for concrete coming. Brian here with me. He's uh, gonna help us out on this concrete day. Gonna get him, uh, he's gonna be greasing all the heads of the screws and I'll show you that real quick because it's actually a really big help when you go to strip your forms. So I'm gonna get Brian lined out and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so I've got Brian laid out on, you can see right here, just a little dab of grease on each one of the screw heads here for when we're pouring the concrete we obviously try to get as much concrete in the forms as we can obviously you're gonna have spillage and the most frustrating thing is when you use screws to form up is when you can't get the drill bit to back the screw back out so just putting a little dab of grease in there the concrete can be encased around that and you just flick that little booger of uh, concrete off of there and the grease keeps the, the screw head nice and clean, so it's really easy. And half the time you can just kind of shove your uh, bit down there and it pulls out. So that might save, hopefully that helps somebody save a lot of time because we struggled with just picking concrete out of the heads of the screws and that 99% of the time prevents that. should actually get this concrete going off pretty quick though. So hopefully it won't be here until dark. Logan, what are you doing over there? You gotta touch the concrete. <laughs> Look 
Look at us. What are we doing right now? We're removing metal from wood. And then removing <laughs> yeah. wood from concrete. Yeah. We're going to strip forms same day. With all this wind and heat and all that, all the concrete went off, even though they did give us like a seven slump when we asked for a five. But hey, whatever. Um, what? They did. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to strip these forms and yeah, get a little bit ahead of where we thought we'd be. So do that not where i thought we'd be i thought we'd be way further along wow <laughs> wow thanks joey so much faith in us Tony's going home. <laughs> wow, I just did way too many spins. Joey's air, circles. Joey's air dropping me everything from his phone to make this vlog, to bring it to you people on Instagram. Not Instagram, YouTube. YouTube. To YouTube. What That's you for you people. people. You people. Yeah, so tomorrow's 4th of July. Some of these guys are insane and they're working. Well, I gotta work on my house, work on my car. But. Tomorrow, we're gonna celebrate freedom and the birth of this nation. So, happy 4th of July to all of you. Although, you'll be watching this after the 4th of July. But you know what? Think about 4th of July and how great it is and how great this country is. And we will see you guys on Monday. <laughs>